Namaste. My name is Vika Sister. Namaste. My name is Vika Sister. Good to meet you. Having this opportunity to come to another country and working with children with physical, mental, and other types of disabilities has really opened my eyes to see just how much they are capable of. I really don't consider these students and these children that I've been meeting over the past few days as disabled. I would just call them differentially able. We were a very small group of students that came to Nepal along with two faculty advisors to see the country, learn about disabilities, and also get an idea of what we could do through the Rotary Act of Bellevue College to spread awareness about what we had found and experienced in this country. I welcome to you. I really think Bellevue College is blessed that it allowed the students to have this opportunity to come as a group and experience a whole new country, as well as work on a project that really helped raise awareness and continue the mission that BCC has of including education for all. First programs in the nation. Wow. Wow. Heart. Wow. Rotaract yeah. is a club that's service above self. Um, so we do a lot of volunteer work, a lot of service learning, and we have a relationship with our twin club here in Patan, Nepal, and so we've created a joint project called the Disability Awareness Internship. I think we have to open our minds to what's going on in other countries and realize that disabilities is not just happening in our country, it's all around the world and I think it's really important to do projects like this one. Nepal. Yes. Yeah. We're here to embrace the culture, share stories and knowledge and help these people with their lives and they have helped us with our lives. You guys have to work together. I think I've learned that the exterior wrapper of a person is not who they are. Uh, on some level I knew that, but really that was really made very concrete in this experience. We went to a school where there were people who had uh, cerebral palsy, polio, and different physical disabilities. Some of them were missing hands and legs, and their children just like anybody else. What happens when you think about chocolate? Yeah, <laughs> you smile, don't you? <laughs> yeah. We played with them, and even though they had a physical disability, it didn't stop them from really expressing wow. the beauty in life. I make this. You make this? Yeah. That's very nice. They showed so much energy, so much life. the largest stupa in the world. And we were told the tradition was that you take these prayer flags and you can write your name on it or a wish or people that you are praying for and you write their names and this prayer flag will be hung from the stupa and as it flapped in the wind, our prayers would go to the gods and they would hear us. Seeing our prayers being hung was just breathtaking. It was just an amazing experience, and I will hold that in my heart forever. We often think about ourselves and don't put ourselves in other people's shoes. And Coming over here has really opened our eyes. We take so many things in the States for granted, electricity, running water, washing machines. And when you come to a country over here and you don't have those things, you have to make do with what you have available. 
what we're doing is washing some of our clothes because the power outages here last most of the day. And it really makes you realize the luxuries and the comforts that you have at home. It's definitely grew my appreciation for what I have. I have fresh water every day. I have hot water every day. I don't have to walk for a long time to get my resources. It changes how I look at things. Like, I live in a very small apartment right now, and everyone always makes fun of how small it is, and you know, oh, you live in a closet. And I look at that apartment every day, and I'm like, oh, I'm living like a queen, you know, compared to some people that live in Nepal. thinking a lot about what compassion means and I believe that compassion is love and compassion like love is a seed that you have to plant and sometimes it may start out small and as that little flower grows each leaf comes out and when that seed comes to fruition it creates more seeds and they fly into the wind and that compassion then grows into a garden within ourselves and others. I think it's very important for us students to come here because you can't learn this in a classroom. For me, compassion is showing your unique way of caring for others. To see how they live and understand what they're going through. The world is getting smaller and smaller. And the more problems that we have in the world, the more we can find solutions if we work together. And we can only work together if we meet these people and learn about them, and they learn about us.